back to my channel. My name is Shay and today I'm going to be showing you all how I got this amazing, fantastic summer look. It is really, it's a really nice look. It's really popping, it lights up, and it's just on fire. Fuego. Insert fire emoji. But, um, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Before I do, just make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also give this video a big thumbs up. And we'll get right into it. Okay, so first I'm going to start by just priming my eyelid with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. And I'm just making sure I prime them so my eyeshadows can stick and they look very pigmented when I place my eyeshadow on. I'm taking this shadow called Real Gar from the Modern Renaissance and Sasha Beverly Hills palette and just placing it as my transition color in my crease. Next, I'm going to be using this Take Me to Brazil BH Cosmetics palette. I'm going to be using this fiery red color and this orange color. Whoa, was my reaction when I realized like how pigmented these <laughs> eyeshadows were, which I really love because they're affordable and they're really pigmented. But anyway, I'm just placing this fiery like red color on my outer corners, and I'm also going to be placing it in my inner corner of my eye to create this trio effect. The orange color that I showed previously will go in the middle and it's going to create this nice three like tri-color effect and it's going to look really nice. Alright, now I'm going to be taking this darker pink color. I'm just also placing that on my outer corners of my eye and it's just going to make sure that the look is um, nice and adds more dimension to the look as well. I'm spraying my brush with a little bit of Max Fix Plus to apply the orange color only because I want it to be a little bit more pigment and I find that when I wet the brush you know it adds a little bit more pigment to it so yeah that's what I'm doing and I'm splending I'm taking this bronzy shade also from the same palette and just placing it on my inner um, tear duct and this is just gonna add a nice glittery shade I'm doing a simple black wing eyeliner with um, a liquid liner Now I'm just taking my mascara and just placing it all over my eyelashes. For this look, I will be adding false lashes, but I just wanted to apply my mascara before I um, place my false lashes on. Now I'm going to be taking that same bronzy shade that I put in my inner tear duct and I'm just placing it on my brow bone. I'm going to be taking my Revlon Colorstay foundation and just doing my um, usual foundation routine. I am going to fast forward my um, like my foundation highlight and contouring only because I have a full video on it so if you would like to check that out I will leave a link to it in the description bar for you guys. And I'm just blending and blending and blending. Blend, blend, blend. I couldn't, I had to do it with a beauty sponge because I lost my beauty blender. I don't know where it went. Hopefully I find it. Alright, now for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Camouflage and Concealer. And I'm just placing it on my highlight spots. You know, the usual. Nothing special. And this is in the shade 50 Medium, in case you guys wanted to know. It's the darkest shade. Um, of the concealer in this specific um, brand like this specific concealer type mm Alright, now for my contour, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contouring Kit in medium to tan, and I'm just doing my usual contouring method. You know, nothing special. Just my usual. Just the usual.
All right, now for my um, setting powder, I'm gonna be using my Fit Me setting powder. This is in the shade 355. It is in the same exact shade as my foundation color, so I don't have to worry about anything. But I'm just setting my face so my foundation and my concealer do not move because it is hot outside and I want to still look nice. <laughs> I'm using this MAC Skin Finish. Um, I'm using this as my highlight, the bronzy shade. I love this color. It just gives you a natural glow. And yeah, I just love it. That's what I'm using to highlight to make myself glow like a crystal bowl. Now for my lip, I'm going to be doing a simple neutral lip. I'm just lining my lips with a brown lip liner from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to be using my favorite nude pinkish shade from Stila. And it's in the shade Carmelo. And I just love this combo because it gives you that nice ombre effect of a lip. But it just also just looks natural. And guys, that is the finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and try to recreate it. It's really simple, really easy, and a nice, powerful, bright pop of color for the summer. And... I just hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Mwah.